Hello, macro students. Welcome back for our beginning of unit four. Um, it's called aggregate demand and aggregate supply. And we're starting out with module three. And it says, what is aggregate demand and what can change it? So back in unit one, we were working with supply and demand curves. But um, because it was an introduction to those topics, we were talking about like the supply and demand of like a product you know we would use examples like a marker or the supply and demand for shoes well now you know that we're into macroeconomics we are discussing um, the entire economy as a whole so the aggregate demand is the total demand for all goods and services and that remember that goods and services that means output or real GDP at the different price levels. So we're not talking about the demand for a certain type of good. We're talking about the demand for all of the goods in the entire economy. We're talking about the demand for real GDP. Okay, so we're going to draw out our aggregate demand curve. And in when we're talking about just one product, we on our y-axis we put price, but here on our um, y-axis, we are going to put price level, price level. And what that means is that the price of things can go up and down, or let me say that a different way. The price of like all the goods and services on average can go up, but we already know what that's called. That's called inflation, right? And if we go down here, it says price level going up equals inflation. And price level going down equals deflation. Okay, so back here, and then over here, in, um, instead of quantity, we label that output slash real GDP. And then what's really nice is that our aggregate demand curve looks just like our demand curve, that downward sloping curve, and you label it AD for aggregate demand. Now, the aggregate demand curve shows the relationship between the aggregate price level By the way, aggregate means total. So when we're talking about like the aggregate price level, we're talking about the price level of all of the goods and services in the whole economy. Okay. And then the quantity of aggregate output or real GDP demanded by households, businesses, the government, and the rest of the world. And that sounds familiar, right? Households, businesses, government, rest of the world. Households, C. Businesses, I. Government, G. Rest of the world, N, X. So over here, we've got aggregate demand is equal to the real GDP, and that is equal to C plus I plus G plus N, X. And that is going to be important to remember a little bit later in our notes for today. Okay, so this line on this graph tells a story. Now it says here that the aggregate demand curve shows the relationship between the aggregate like, um, price level and the quantity demanded of real GDP. Well, what is that relationship? If, price do if the price level does one thing, well, then what is the quantity demanded of real GDP going to do? Well, let's take a look at our graph. Now, when it comes to prices and price level and we say they do something, well, that basically means they can go up or they can go down, right? So let's show our price level increasing because we're, you know, that happens way more often than the price level decreasing. All right, so let's say that the price level started here and then it went up to there. Right? It's, you know, this one and this two shows that the price level went up, the price level increased. Well, at the price level of one, that would put our quantity demanded of real GDP here. And at the price level of two, 
that would put it here. So what this graph shows us is that if the price level goes up, then the quantity demanded of real GDP goes down. So let's get that written down here at the bottom. The aggregate demand curve shows that if price level goes up, then quantity demanded of real GDP goes down. And quantity demanded of real GDP is kind of a mouthful, right? If we went around and we talked to people who weren't in macroeconomics, well, the quantity demanded of real GDP has increased. They might not understand what we're saying, but it's pretty simple. Quantity demanded of real GDP increasing simply means that people will buy less stuff. Quant let me, did I say that correctly? Quantity demanded of real GDP decreasing means that people will buy less stuff. Let's write that down. And then the opposite of this is also true. So we can also write if the price level decreases, comma, then quantity demanded of real GDP goes up, which means that people will buy more stuff. Okay, I am going to pause our video here. This will be the end of part one, and then we'll get on with part two of the video for the next page of notes.